So right now I'm leaving Dreamer Hostel here in Santa Marta and heading to T Tyrona National Park. I've been trying to get to Tyrona National Park since the first time I ever heard about Colombia. Actually, I think Tyrona National Park is the first place I ever saw um, on any travel guide or anything like, like that at Colombia. But every time I've tried to go there, something has gone wrong. There's been you know, something, so, some reason that I couldn't go. So I thought that was going to be the case here too because I've been sitting around the hostel waiting for three days trying to go, but I've had work to do and I thought I was going to have to cancel again. Um, but I got everything sorted and so now I'm headed there. I'm headed to Tyrona National Park. Um, yeah, so I'm walking out of the hostel to the main road and then I'm going to try to catch the bus there to the entrance of the park. So let's go. I'm excited. So I made it to Tyrone after like a 30, 35 minute bus journey and now I've got some hiking to do. I think it's like four kilometers to get to the beach and you get to a place called Arecife. Um, there's a campsite there I believe, although I'm told it's not as nice. And then it's another, you know, a couple kilometers to get to another beach called Cabo and that's where most people camp and there's hammocks to sleep in. So I'm going to be camping tonight, but not in a tent, in a hammock. And that's about 20,000 pesos, 20 to 30,000 pesos, depending where you are, um, which equates to about 10 to 15 dollars or less than that, even eight to 12 dollars, something like that. And yeah, so we get some hiking to do to get to the, the beach. Sometimes there's monkeys. Um, there's a lagoon that apparently has caiman and sometimes there's birds. So yeah, we'll see what we find along the way. And yeah, I'm so stoked to be here in Tyrona National Park. So I've made it into Tyrona, into Cabo. This is probably the most popular place in Tyrona National Park. Uh, there's camping back there. There's also hammocks back there. And if you get lucky like I did, there's a, a hammock area up top here. So I'm really up on the top of a little, um, like a little point way up top where there's a nice breeze for nighttime because it is hot here during the day. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning here. I'm really not going to do too much here except for, you know, explore a little bit, maybe go for a couple swims and then shoot two sunsets and two sunrises. So instead of doing a typical video, um, I guess I'll give you some video clips from here in Cabo in the Tyrona area and flick some images through as I do that. So let's go. Let's enjoy. Uh, let's enjoy Tyrona National Park. It's absolutely stunning here.
So I'm just about to take off from Tyrona. Now it's 7.30 in the morning. I got one decent sunrise, well, two good sunrises and uh, a couple of decent sunsets. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a chill, relaxed time. Really beautiful place, obviously. Met some good people. Um, yeah, it was a great time. And now I'm gonna try to see if I can catch a horse home because I'm really lazy and the horse ride is, is uh, only about $12, so I'm gonna see if I can find a horse. If I can't find a horse, it's two hours worth of sweating to get back home. So the guide has basically just given me the horse and he's told me, get out of the park on your own, basically. So I don't know if there's gonna be somebody up there to take the horse from me, but I've got the horse. I've got it and we're going for a ride. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this episode um, on, on the show, and I'm off next. Um, where am I going next? I'm going to Cuba? Yeah, I'm going to Cuba. That's gonna be awesome. I'm so stoked uh, for Cuba. It's a country I've never been to before, um, so be sure you stay subscribed to the channel. I'm sure there'll be 10, 15 videos from Cuba. See you next time. Peace.